welcome everybody to advanced geography class so today we will discuss about one of the major natural reasons of the world that is equatorial region the equatorial region is located on both side of the equator that is between 10 degree north and 10 degree south latitudes the climate of this region is hot and wet temperature difference between day and night and summer winter is also very low its average annual temperature is 27 degree celsius but a heavy rainfall takes place about 200 centimeter and the entire equatorial region is covered with dense evergreen forest besides Small shrubs and variety of climbers are also grown in the equatorial region. And due to dense forest cover and due to the high uh, temperature and rainfall all throughout the year, the natural environment of this region is not suitable for human habitation because the whole region is covered with thick, dense forest. So, let us see. Which are some of the areas that comes under equatorial region? The area which comes under equatorial region are the Amazon River Basin of South America, Congo River Basin of Africa, Junior Coast of West Africa, Malaysian Peninsula and Indonesian and Philippine Islands of Southeast Asia, etc. The Amazon and Congo Basin still witness same physical environment as in the past. There is no change compared to past. Today also the physical environment is almost the same. But the physical environment of Malaysia and Indonesia has changed significantly. A large part of Amazon and Congo Basin is covered with dense forest. And such forests of Amazon and Congo Basin are known as selvas in the Amazon River Basin. And different types of animals live here. And the environment is not suitable for human habitation. Because this region is very much infested with different types of mosquitoes and insects and there is likely to occur different types of diseases and such unfavorable conditions have made um, human living very difficult and therefore it is very thinly populated only the people uh, that is so uh, who survive through hunting, fishing, gathering food from the forest only uh, live in those regions. But in some areas, uh, the people who live, they are seem to grow some crops, potato-like crops and also banana and some sort of shifting cultivation also done. The transport system of this region is also very backward because river is considered as the main means of transportation and this region does not have communication with other developed areas of the world most part of this region are still still means at present also it is very socio-economically backward and its natural resources are uh, simply uh, remained unexploited and unused but even though located in the same equatorial region indonesia and malaysia are completely different from congo and amazon basin because of the availability of fertile soil the people living in the zaba islands of indonesia and some areas of philippines they are successful in carrying out permanent agriculture for their livelihood the farmers uh, clear their forest and even construct terraces on the hill slopes and cultivate a large variety of crops are cultivated 
uh, rice is the main crop of this region then uh, in malaysia and indonesia a large part of sri lanka have advanced through plantation agriculture this plantation agriculture was first started by the british and uh, most of the production used to be exported to uh, great britain and other countries of europe and most of the areas of malaysian peninsula are covered with <clears throat> rows of rubber plantation the transport system of the whole region is very much developed and uh, they, they have the good network of road roadways as well as railways and therefore the region does not have um, the natural environment as that of equatorial region it is vast difference from that of equatorial forest it is very densely populated also it is about 1000 uh, persons per square kilometer the entire region has witnessed economic progress through rubber plantation tea plantation and coffee plantation the uh, man standard of living has also improved through modern facilities so only we have discussed this equatorial region for today coming video we will discuss about the monsoon region thank you